Hi, I'm Laura from YoungWritersWorkshops.com, and I want to talk about how to write a contract for your nanny. Now, you um, might overlook this detail when when entering into a relationship with a nanny, but I, I really uh, highly suggest that you do have a contract because it helps you to define the parameters of working together. And there are going to be some times where there's a gray area that comes up, and it'll be so much better if, for your relationship. Um, with this person if you have it defined already and have thought about how it will be handled. Um, one really good example of that is um, illness. What, to, what will you do if the nanny is sick on a day that she's supposed to work or if um, you have a sick child and um, it's not a, and the child is con contagious? So define that. Think about how you'll handle that and write it out in your contract. Um, very clearly state the details of how that will work. Another example is the, um, your ideas about travel. Will you expect the nanny to drive your child somewhere? And if, um, if you do, what will be the policy? How will you handle the car seat? Will, it, will she drive her car? Will she take your car? Um, these are things that you should really um, be explicit about in the contract. Um, also, any benefits that you plan to offer, um, vacation days, sick days, that kind of thing. You need to um, delineate that in the contract really clearly. Now, I do want to point out that there are some um, contracts that are available online that just are already written out, and you can just fill in the details. So that might be another option. If you find one that works for you and, it, and includes enough information that will meet your needs, um, you can also include that kind, uh, use that kind of resource. So those are just a few ideas about how to write a contract for your nanny.